After revealing the extent of her alcoholism, Elle McPherson appeared youthful as ever when she went out in Midtown Manhattan, New York, on Tuesday. The 60-year-old Australian beauty flaunted her glowing skin during a cheerful trip to promote her recently released memoir of the same name. In her biography, Elle, who stopped drinking in 2003, described the depth of her alcoholism and her struggle to sobriety, saying that she used to drink vodka every night. And when Elle was pictured out and about advertising her highly anticipated book release at bookstores throughout New York, she grinned proudly. She emphasized her gorgeous features with a natural touch of makeup and glossy pink lipstick, showcasing her incredibly youthful complexion. Elle made a very fashionable debut in the Big Apple, wearing dark shades and a broad smile that demonstrated she hasn't aged a day. Wearing a pair of high-waisted navy flared jeans and a faded white t-shirt, she made a very lanky impression. Elle wore a fluffy black jacket in the shape of a teddy bear across her shoulders and gave herself a few extra inches in a pair of pointed metallic heels. As she marketed her new book, she carried a copy of her memoir, Elle, in one hand and her essentials in a white quilted purse with gold handles. After revealing the depths of her alcoholism and her struggle to sobriety in a compelling chapter of her new memoir, Elle went on her most recent expedition. When Elle reflected on her journey to sobriety, she disclosed that she often became inebriated and would take shots of vodka. After putting her two boys, Flynn, 26, and Sai, 21, whom she shares with her ex Arpit Archibusson, to bed, everyone thought my life was fantastic. I was doing a beautiful job on the outside, but I was really struggling on the inside, she said in her book. The Sports Illustrated swimsuit cover star described being overcome with the need to sip a bottle of champagne that was given to her after giving birth to her youngest kid. When Elle was left alone with Sai, she acknowledged that all she could think about was that bottle of champagne in the ice bucket. Even though her two naturopaths warned her that drinking too soon after giving birth might upset her hormones. In an attempt to keep up her flawless public persona, she resorted to drinking vodka to unwind in the evenings. She was dating a French businessman named Arky at the time, but he was frequently away on business during the week, so she was left to raise their two kids alone. She informed Arky that she was well and returned to work after Sai was born, despite thinking about going to rehab, to show that motherhood hadn't slowed her down. She added, I wanted to show Arky that I would be his business and fun partner, while being the mother of his sons, because I loved spending time with him. I would go out party, and drink just to get sick again. The phrase, I was in a horrible downward spiral kept coming up. I'll also acknowledge that she used alcohol as a coping method for her anxieties, and that she had frightening blackouts. After putting my kids to bed, I would frequently drink. I would compose to-do lists and letters to my family after sitting down alone, and taking a few shots of vodka. She explained, I would clean the house, listen to music until about 11 o'clock then go to bed and pass out. Her naturopaths, alternative practitioners who emphasize healing, were among the first to recommend rehab after Elle's closest friends and family started to fear something was off. She defied her therapist's advice and insisted on spending the summer in Ibiza with her family before consenting to treatment. She was able to abstain from alcohol for the first few weeks, but once she was unable to go out to a hip club with Arky and their pals, things took a turn for the worst. She chose to open a bottle of vodka after putting her children to bed, but she struggled to open it and broke off the glass top. She writes, I quickly poured myself a shot that might have been covered in glass fragments and I drank it. I love this feeling. I recall thinking. I had missed it terribly. Elle described being humiliated and angry to be placed alongside people who were battling anorexia because of her thinness while she was in treatment at a facility in Arizona. When she finally acknowledged that she was partially regulating her food, she believed the treatment was correct in placing her in that category. She used the alias Mac to maintain anonymity while in treatment because she was worried about being identified because of her notoriety. Following her time in treatment in 2003, Elle quit drinking, and she recently reached a significant milestone, 20 years sober. Elle has previously stated that she has never regretted giving up alcohol because it made her more present and prevented her from numbing herself.